Next, let's set the style for the navigation and how we want it to look on a phone. Remember that for the desktop, we had the navigation inside the header. And that won't work anymore. As we go to the phone, it will spill out. So we're going to have to make some changes in the HTML to fix this. In the HTML, we're going to need to take the nav out of the header. And I'm going to do this by moving that closing header tag up. And now we have the header followed by the nav, and it's no longer inside. Now I'm going to need to do this with each of the pages. Okay, now I have separated, taken the nav outside of the header in each of the HTML pages. And if we go back and refresh, then it shows up underneath, which is what we expected. Even when we make it large, it no longer goes up inside. It stays underneath. So that's the first step. Now we want to go ahead and change the style in the CSS. We still want there to be no bullets, so we'll leave list style type none and the margin and padding to zero, but we no longer want to float right or have a padding on the right. So we'll get rid of both of those. We do want them to display in line and still be 40 pixels high and have a line height of 140. But now we're going to make a vertical nav, and to do that we're going to set the width to 100%. If we save this and refresh, now we have this vertical nav where they line up vertically rather than horizontally. Let's set the background color so we can see it better. And let's change the text align to center. And if we do that, we can get rid of this padding as well right here. And let's see what that leaves us with. Now we have this vertical nav where that navigation is vertical and it expands the whole width. Let's add a border. A border will add a little bit of separation. And on our hover, let's add, let's see what we want to do with that. Let's get our border and see what it looks like. There's a border so we can distinctly see them. And now on hover, look, the words go away. What we be, it's because the words become the same color as the background. So let's go ahead and change the background color on hover. And refresh. And now when we hover over them, they change color. Know that that transition is happening. That transition is set on our regular A styles. So they still apply. Anything that we don't overwrite still applies. So we still get that nice transition that we had before. There is still one detail here that isn't quite right. Notice that we have borders on the left and right. And when you get look at that from a distance, it looks like the navigation is a little bit narrower than the header. So we really only need the border on the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and make that change. And there, now we have a vertical nav that will work well on a phone.